roller or gua sha? Which one should you pick? I'm going to teach you all about the differences between these two tools and how to select the appropriate one for you. What's up guys? Welcome back. Dr. Constance here. I'm founder of The Glow Method, a traditional Chinese medicine skincare education. I'm here to bring you tips, tricks, and tutorials straight out of Chinese medicine so that you can amp up your natural beauty game. If that's why you're here. Go ahead and click subscribe and then hit the little bell and you get notified when I upload new content. All right, today we're talking all about the difference between these two tools. Most of my clients have one or the other and I'm often asked, why do you need one? Why do you need both? Or do you even need these at all? So today I'm just gonna run you through the differences between these two tools. All right, so first up is a roller. And just as a side note, so these come in all types of gemstones, you know, jade or rose quartz or amethyst. And they're often just called a jade roller, even when they're made out of another type of gemstone. So just for simplicity, I'm just going to refer to this as a jade roller, but just know it applies to all types of gemstone rollers. The point of a roller or what a roller does is it's using very slight pressure to move lymph or to roll out tight muscles. So you can think of this as like a foam roller for your face. You know, like if you have soreness in like your leg and you have one of those big foam rollers and you use that roller to help really work out the tension there, that's also what this roller is doing on the face. And it especially does a great job of that if you have really tight jaws or if you have TMJ in this part of your face and your head. So a roller is really good at muscle tension and it's also really good at lymphatic drainage. So it's really helping to encourage your lymph to flow from your face down into these major lymph ducts right here underneath your collarbone. So that is what a roller is really good for. It's simple to use. You don't need a lot of you know, advanced training to use it. You can use it anytime. You don't have to already have lotion or oil on your face. In fact, I have so many clients who carry these around in their car, like in a little mini cooler in their car. And when they get hot and bothered driving in traffic, they just roll through their face and it really helps them to calm down. So a jade roller is excellent for lymphatic drainage, for releasing muscle tension, and it doesn't take a lot of skill or education in order to use it correctly and get benefits. All right, so let's talk all about gua sha. And again, this goes for all types of gua sha gemstones, not just merely jade. And if you can think of a roller as like a simple kitchen knife, it can only do one thing, it can cut, then you can think of a gua sha tool as a Swiss army knife. It can do all kinds of different things. So just like a roller, which could do lymphatic drainage as well as muscle tension, gua sha does that as well. But gua sha can also do many different things like treating age spots, fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, helping to boost and build collagen in the skin. And that is because gua sha requires a little bit more of a technique to it. You can use gua sha not merely just to press on the skin, but it's also adding some stretch or a little bit of tensile stretch to the skin and that's working with the collagen matrix underneath the skin which is why you have so many different things that you can work with here one of the main cons of a gua sha tool is that it takes a little bit of time as well as effort to learn how to use one of these properly it's easier to hurt yourself with this you can end up with red marks on your face you can end up you know kind of pushing a little bit too hard and not having a result that you want so you do have to put some time into learning how to use a gua sha tool properly in order to get the results that you desire. However, if you are willing to put in that time, there are many more things that you can do with a gua sha tool as opposed to a roller. All right, so just to summarize, if you want a multi-purpose tool that can do all sorts of different things from boosting your glow to increasing collagen production, decreasing fine lines and wrinkles, as well as working on hyperpigmentation and spots, Gua Sha is going to be your tool. Just know that you're going to have to put in a little bit of time and effort in order to learn how to use it. Pick a roller if you want to really work on muscle tension and lymphatic drainage, and you want a tool that's going to be very easy, not really require a lot of technical skill, and you can just pick this up and use it right away. So with that being said, I happen to really like the combination of both of these. I use both of these in my clinical practice. So on my clients, I do both gua sha as well as rolling. 
and on myself i just keep you know one of these in my bathroom as well as this and i can do this you know several times a week and i can do this once or twice a day i just keep one on my desk sometimes you know just to kind of roll my jaw when i'm when i'm doing work on the computer so they can definitely be used together you don't have to just choose one or the other they're always both a really good choice just know that you have to learn how to use this one a little bit more than you have to learn how to use this one all right guys so thank you so much for joining me i really hope this was helpful leave me a comment and let me know which tool you like the best and i really appreciate you watching see you next time